Hello and welcome to the Asset TV show. My name is Asaji, your regular host on the show. On today's episode, I want to talk about the xenophobia attack in South Africa. What is happening? Well, anyway, I'm here to sympathize with those who have lost their family members, relatives, friends, and well wishes. Accept my condolences. It's a pity. Xenophobic attack in South Africa started as far back as 1984. It didn't start today. As a matter of fact, it was um, the Zulu king was accused to have fueled this attack during his reign. Xenophobic attack and racism. Racism. Can someone tell me the difference? Okay, that brings me to the definition of xenophobic attack. What is xenophobic attack? Xenophobic attack. Can be defined as a deep dislike from as a deep dislike of the non nationals to the nationals. Of a, I said xenophobic attack can be defined as a deep dislike, is a Greek word. Phobia is fear. Is a Greek word. Xeno is something that is strange. So xenophobic attack is defined as a deep dislike from the nationals to the non-nationals. Is there any difference between xenophobia and racism? Racism. I ask again, what is the distinction between xenophobia and racism what are the causes of this xenophobic attack south africans you don't want strangers you don't want foreigners It can be triggered, this attack can be triggered for some political reasons. Una no wants foreigners, but una de foreign, una de other people, country. How did you get to this point? Yeah, the federal government issued a statement, and I quote, that Nigerians should stop staying in a volatile area or areas, areas that are prone to attack, whether xenophobic attack or attack of any kind. So let's see what I have here. Xenophobia 
in South Africa started in 1984. Between 1984 and uh, it lasted till 1994 and it's still on. And I said that the xenophobic attack started in um, Doba and spread to Johannesburg. Johannesburg. And uh, the research have it that Zulu, the Zulu king, Goodwill, has been accused of fueling this attack by saying that foreigners should go back to their countries. Meaning that they don't want foreigners, whether Nigerians, whether um, any other country. They just want to be on their own to develop their country. By themselves um, in South Africa according to the officials in South Africa statistics uh, statistics have it that as of 2011 2.2 million foreigners live in South Africa so you can imagine from 2011 till now it has increased drastically statistically foreigners living in south africa is in million billion okay i'm not here to lecture anybody i am here to sympathize with those who have lost their loved ones I am here to I am here to sympathize with those that have lost their young loved ones and then the Nigerian youths um, in Lagos and Abuja have gone to some South Africans investments in order to retaliate. They went to some malls and made away with They went to shop right, forgetting that some Nigerians also work in such places. Who is doing who? The government of the day Mr President, sir, with due respect, as a matter of audiency. Do something. Human beings are not cows. As a matter of urgency, do something. The vice president, sir, receive Andrew himself. I know, say now, the southern part. Has been affected hugely. Yes, now the southern part, southeast to be precise. Now we, they do buying and selling, trading. Now we, they get shops. Now we, they run most of these businesses that have been destroyed. Nobody should take sides. I think we are one Nigeria, aren't we again? Are we no longer one Nigeria? One Nigeria, are we? Are we not because now our southeast 
brothers and I then get shops and I then get the things that have been destroyed burnt down to ashes and then they lose their lives in this said attack and not cows could it be why drastic measures have not been taken to DV. I'm still wondering aloud and I'm still thinking aloud. Could it be? But anyway, the present um, day government, I believe you, your judgment, I believe that you're going to take a drastic measures to put things in place once again. Once again, to those that have lost their your, um, loved ones, you know, accept my condolences. It's a pity. It's quite a pity. It's not funny. Anyway, that is where I'll be wrapping up on this episode of the Asadi TV show. Say no, a xenophobic attack. Say no to killings, destruction of goods, hard earned money that our brothers and sisters have labored for over the years. Just burn and destroy it within a twinkle of an eye and the person is left to start from square one that if the person survives and is still alive say no to this attack the government of the day please I beg you do something I know you're already doing something continue to do something and put an end to this ugly situation before it gets out of hand. I am a regular host on the Asaji TV show. Once again, thank you for watching.